Hi, I'm Zeanless, and this is the 35th 40k tutorial, and this one sounds like this. This is a Tut Tut Child bass from the song Maelstrom, and this is what it kind of sounds like. Uh, I decided I wanted to be clever and try and make as, as close as I can using only citrus, not anything post whatsoever. So I'm doing a lot of distortion and a lot of filtering, and I'm actually doing kind of a lot of stuff to get this to work. Uh, it began with what was once a saw wave that I then converted to sine wave harmonics, which you do by right-clicking this, clicking on saw, and then changing the sine to harmonics. And it additively creates the shape that you have inside the harmonics, which is this stuff here. It's basically what, what Harmer does, only inside the citrus. Bet you didn't know. And I messed with the phases a little bit of the lower harmonics, which has the most impact on what it sounds like overall. And this is being frequency modulated by a triangle wave of the same pitch. It's going into filter one, which uh, I actually have off entirely. I'm only using it for a wave shaper. And I'm using the uh, wave type, line type, that would set, set to this sort of, this short level of oscillation. Um, that's going into filter two via the next knob over here. Filter two has a peak filter engaged, which is actually essentially what this is, this here. This is doing this. At 50% gain, it does nothing. At less than 50% gain, it goes down, and plus 50% gain, it goes up. And so I'm using this as kind of like a little EQ inside, like one, basically one EQ band inside Citrus. Um, <clears throat> and I also am using another uh, way of shaping, but this is a little bit more regular. This is just to add more crunch to it. I'm also automating uh, the cutoff input as such. To give it additional uh, sort of pluckiness. You might have noticed that every time I hit the note, it sounds a bit different. That's because in the modulation input of Operator 1, not only do I have um, the envelope kind of peeking down a little bit to give additional uh, pluckiness, but also um, and the, on the random randomation randomness, I've actually engaged a little bit of it versus this, which is all the way on. <clears throat> and this is saying that the uh, modulation input is random a bit every time. I also have two voices of unison engaged, but I have uh, pitch, phase, and sub, and envelope all the way off. I only have panning the volume on. And that's because I'm going into the unison index tab of the modulation input, which is I'm able to change the modulation of the FM input modulation per voice in unison. There's only two right now. So that means that essentially I'm only having this side and this side, which are just the two voices. Um, and then also in the phase, I'm changing it. So I'm essentially doing manual unison for just that one oscillator to give it the width it wants. And then panning is being accomplished via the overall lead and tab up top. Not doing any of that for number two. Um, I also have number three and four going into filter two. Uh, three and four are uh, respectively a sine wave and almost a saw wave, just to add uh, more sub and more bass and slightly pitch differently to give it just a tiny extra bit of movement. I'm also outputting those directly so to give, they give more reinforcement to the sound in total. And then filter two is being output into filter three to once again uh, wave shape and then also the, the the default SVF low pass filter just to kind of roll off a bit on the highs. Although the wave shaping happens after the filter which means that there's some more highs coming back. It just adds a little bit of character in a way that you can control. <laughs> And that's what I got. And I believe I covered everything that I've done in here. And this is as far as I could get using just one citrus and keeping it all in there and not doing anything in post. Although probably to get closer to the original sound, I would need to do some more stuff in post, but I decided I want to be clever. Uh, this patch will be available for download in the description of this video, along with the link to the original so you can tell just how far off I was. Um, if you'd like to make a request, the Reddit thread is also in the description where if you want to make a request, make it there and nowhere else. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.